Joining us now is Kevin Eckert. He's a well-known arborist, and welcome, uh, 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 welcome. Uh, All right, Kevin, did you hear us? Are you still with us? <laughs> I only you. said we'll welcome once, there. in, in yes. case you know. But hey, um, thanks for joining us. One of the things that I want to know, for people with older trees especially, how do you care for them? Well, older trees are much like older folks. As we start to age, we need a little more special care and a little more diligence in getting professionals. You know, we go to the doctor once a year, hopefully, and our trees need to be examined periodically to make sure they're they're in good shape. In this particular case, we, we talk about the health of the tree, but the structural stability of this tree was the real problem. As I see it, I can see that there wasn't much of a root system, and it's hard to say because roots are underground, so we need someone qualified and competent that could be able to, to identify those sorts of problems with our trees as they get older and bigger. And Kevin, in general, how often should trees be pruned considering the type of tree and of course the age as well? Well, that's a great question and, and pruning is really a function of what the, the goal is. Usually we prune trees for safety. Um, big dead branches or whatnot to keep from coming down. In the case of a large tree like this, we might reduce the crown to take some of that in weight out. So we reduce the load, which will reduce the risk that it may fall. Sometimes they just get in the way of things. So there's no set time per se. Before a tree is pruned, we always want to make sure that we have a goal and we know how the tree is going to respond. Um, but an arborist, again, it's just like going to the doctor and, and getting a, a diagnosis and a prescription for that. A, a professional can give you a better idea for your individual tree. Yeah, so what are some of the warning signs that a tree in your property is in trouble? I mean, in this case, mm -hmm. you mentioned it could be that the roots weren't strong enough. So how do you even know if your roots are strong and mm -hmm. if you want to spend the money on that, you know? That's, a, that's an excellent question. You know, even for professionals, it's difficult. Certainly, if the tree starts to change in its form, and the neighbors were talking about this tree was, was leaning a bit and starting to lean, that, that should be a trigger to take a look at it right there. But really, when you get your trees as they're getting older, um, having someone look at them regularly, because sometimes the signs are not as obvious to a layperson, and even a professional may need to do some, some special care. But one of the characteristics of this tree that I would caution people about is there was a lot of infrastructure around this tree, sidewalks and roadways, which apparently really restricted the roots. And when you start to see the crowns of the trees uh, dying back and starting to get a little tighter, that's quite frequently a sign that you've got a root problem, which, and roots anchor trees. So when you're starting to have root problems, as this one did, this was going to be a, a big challenge. So look for abnormalities. If your tree looks healthy and happy, the odds are it's okay. No guarantee, but the odds are it is. And if it's starting to look a little upset or not well, then you, you want to get someone in and take a look at it. A lot of good information there, Kevin. For sure. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time and, and welcome to KCAL 9 at 4. If, if you didn't hear it before, um, we'll talk to you again another time. Thank you.